I see the comments and requests and I will act on them. Please remember to follow Geography World channel on Instagram and Facebook using the link shown on the screen. Please remember to like, share with your friends and subscribe. For person wishing to contact me privately, you may email me at geographyworld100 at gmail.com. The link will be posted below. Welcome back to Geography World channel where we'll be looking at the crude oil and natural gas industry today. Now, crude oil and natural gas is basically one of the world's most valuable natural resources, which is termed the black gold. Trinidad and Tobago is very fortunate to have a large reserve of both crude oil and natural gas, thus making it one of the wealthiest countries in the Caribbean. Crude oil and natural gas. Once it's extracted, the oil is basically used to make gasoline, diesel, and kerosene oil. Now, the gas is used both as a fuel to generate electricity and as a raw material in the manufacturing of plastics and fertilizers. Yes, in the manufacturing of plastics and fertilizers. Now, let us look at how crude oil and natural gas was formed. So millions of years ago, plants and animals, they lived in the sea and you know they're going to die. So millions of years ago, plants and animals, they died and their remains were collected on the sea ground or the seabed. Their remains became buried and compressed by overlying sediments and these organic deposits, they, become, they became heated and they slowly transformed into crude oil and natural gas. Now, the crude oil and natural gas, they become trapped by overlying impermeable rocks and then the oil and the gas will basically remain deep underground without migrating or being lost to the surface. So they are trapped underground. Now this results in the creation of a reserve, an oil reserve, and this basically uh, makes it available for persons to exploit. So the reserve is there. Is just for persons to find, find it and exploit the reserve. Let's talk about the history of natural gas in Trinidad. So in 1957, the first oil well was drilled in the south, southern section of Trinidad. So in 1957, they basically discovered oil in the southern section of Trinidad, right? Now, for over 100 years, oil was restricted to the land because it was easier to extract oil on the land than the sea. So, for they basically drilled for oil on the land. However, in 1950, they started to do offshore drilling because the technology became available, right? So, the machines and equipment that were used, there was an improvement to it, so it made it a bit easier for them to do offshore drilling. So today, the east and the west coast of Trinidad, it has the largest offshore oil fields, right? So Trinidad, as I said earlier, we are very, very fortunate to have such large reserves of natural gas and crude oil. Let us look at some of the factors that influence the location of natural gas in Trinidad. So the first one is the raw material and we know that oil and natural gas they lie primarily in the southern half of Trinidad. So once the raw material is there it means that an industry will develop closely. The second one is transport. Now natural gas and oil they are transported by pipelines to the processing plant. So a lot of pipes are basically run along the different sections so the oil is transported by pipe next we have the capital input now to drill for oil it is very expensive especially when little or no oil is found now in trinidad capital is injected by both local and foreign investors so they have capital being invested in the oil and natural gas industry so let us look at the labor supply. So like any other economic activity, you need labor supply. Now, the oil and natural gas industry requires very high-skilled laborers. 
as well as unskilled laborers but it requires a lot more of high skilled laborers right and it's very expensive to carry in experts from other countries so yes trinidad um gets persons from their ue facilities to basically help with training and to help with the drilling of oil and the final factor is the processing plants they are located very near to the port so remember that trinidad does offshore drilling for oil and if they're located very close to the port so transportation is not a problem in trinidad now let us look at the importance of the industry now the oil and gas industry is extremely important to trinidad and tobago it is very very important because one it accounts for over 70 percent of the country's foreign exchange so because trinidad sells its oil on the international market a lot of the foreign exchange is earning that way it has improved the standard of living in trinidad because over 20,000 persons are directly employed by the industry and many others are employed in other related industries so a lot of persons are employed within the oil and natural gas industry in trinidad thus it helps improve the standard of living in trinidad the industry basically provides a reliable supply of energy throughout the country now remember almost everything that we do is, is powered by um gas right so the fact that they have the gas reserve it means that there is more than a reliable supply of energy for them to use and four the money earned from the oil industry is basically used to boost other industries and sector such as their education sector their health sector and their servicing industry as well as the steelwork industry that is also in trinidad now some of the trends now crude oil production has basically declined over the years however the economy of trinidad has diversified primarily because of oil and natural gas production so in other words the natural gas provides the energy for other industries right so even though the natural gas is their major economic activity they it is, it is a driving force for other economic activities such as their their tertiary their servicing sector and their manufacturing sector as well stay tuned to other videos to learn about other industries in trinidad now another trend is that the war and terrorism especially the one in iraq has basically affected world prices and this pushes them upward so trinidad basically have an advantage over other countries right because of the gas that they have and that the refineries have upgraded over the years to basically improve the quality of the output so because they have improved the equipment and the quality the quality of oil that is being produced have also been upgraded now let us look at some of the challenges because remember all industries will face at least one challenge so some of the challenges that they face includes the fact that it's a non-renewable resource meaning that the resource is finite in nature so it's a set amount right so without careful management the oil field can be depleted thus alternative will have to be made right so the oil industry can be depleted right and if the oil industry is depleted they need act other activities that will help to develop or to maintain their economic activities and we can see where the gar their garment industry their food processing and steelwork industry as well as their tertiary and their servicing sector is basically trying to get up to par so that if their supply should decline they will still have something to work with another challenge is that there is a fluctuation in the grade or the quality of oil 
thus making refining more costly. So because there's a fluctuation in the quality of the oil, it makes it a bit costly for them to continue to produce oil. Now remember that the oil prices, they must be in line with the organization of petroleum exporting countries. So the prices are set. So it's so Trinidad would probably want to set their price at a different standard because of how much it costs them to actually drill for the oil. But the OPEC, it makes it difficult for them to alter or change the prices. So they'll have to work with the price that is set by every cut, but that is set. And as I said earlier, the oil reserves are limited and with oil drilling, there goes environmental degradation right so we can have oil leaks which can basically affect coastal areas or coastal waters and this can kill marine life and it takes a long time for it to actually clean up and the cleanup process is really expensive and this sometimes basically affect the underground water supply and this is usual this usually takes place when they are drilling for the oil now for the examination, you need to know some of the challenges that, Trinidad, that the oil industry faces, some of the trends and some of the factors that basically influences its location. If you want a copy of this PowerPoint, you can send me an email and I will make it um, available on my Google Drive so that you can go and you can view the PowerPoint. Any question, queries, or concerns, please feel free to leave a message below or send me an email and I will respond to you as soon as I can. Thank you. We are at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like these. Leave comments below suggesting topics that you would want me to present on. In the comment section below, comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video. Until then, bye!